So after I started working last night on the game, about 10 p.m. or something, um, I really wanted to get the data structure in place for the levels. So I think the way I do things is very simple. Um, keeping things simple makes it easier to kind of expand upon them and do more stuff with them. So in this case, I have an Excel for my enemies. Um, so the Vagabond, he appears in City Zero. This Night King will appear in City Zero and One. These are the locations that he can appear in. So the Vagabond will appear in, le in level zero, one, and 2 out of City 1. And if we look at this guy, he's got a slash in the middle. So he will appear in level 1, 4, 5, and level 1 of World 1. So, And this thing, boss, true, false. So <clears throat> the way this will probably work is that if true... The first level that he ever appears in, he'll be the boss of that level. So, you know, I can reuse him later because, you know, use the idea that a boss might not be a boss later on. Um, so then we just have all that kind of stats. The thing I really wanted to get working, which I finally got doing this morning, um, was, and this is actually the first time I'm running it because I think it's going to work. I've got to go to work soon. Um, so weapon, different weapons are supposed to do different things, right? And finally, I've got one working. So in your hero, you'll have a bunch of slots. And a bit like Tiny Dice Dungeon, there'll be core slots that can only be used for weapons with a certain type of damage, right? So the hammer does normal damage, but it has a secondary damage of, um, of shield smashing, right? So the second slot, or the, in this case, the fourth slot, would be forced to have a hammer in it. So, oh, break points, right, so. So this is you. Um, I think this is the same as it was. So this is like a character. He's got no armor, right? He's got no armor or shield or anything. I don't know what he's got, really. So you just whack him with your sword. Easy, easy times, and he dies, right? The next level, so I'm going to pause it. I have to select a hammer. So this guy has a shield. He's got lots of armor and stuff. So the idea is that I want to have characters drawn in multiple layers. So when you hit them with the correct thing, so you'll see he'll block my attack, which would be my, the damage of the hammer, but he'll take damage on his armor. When, when you damage his armor fully, it should, in theory, break. Let's see. Minus one. So yeah, you see, the armor's smashed off, and now they're left there kind of naked. And then you can try and kill them. Now they've got no armor damage, and finally I'm doing the minus one, which is the red. So the yellow is like the... the damaging the items, basically. So there we go, there he is again, I think. Yeah, you smash it off, yay! It's kind of fun, like, I love the idea of, like, you know, peeling back the layers or smashing bits of equipment off the characters. It sounds, like, really stupid. Um, I'm sure that when I talk to Cindy today about drawing that, she'll be delighted that she has to draw things in loads of layers. Anyway, there you go. So that's how it's going. <laughs>